We all thought that once Donald Trump was elected as president that it would be the last of Barack Obama. That finally, after eight long years, Obama would slide into history so the American people could heal after his disastrous presidency. Sadly, Barack Obama has not gone away and just like lingering gas he continues to stink it up. Obama knows that his entire legacy is at stake since Trump has taken office, and just like a crazed ex he just won't go away. As we all know President Trump has just made his first trip abroad and is receiving glowing reviews much to the left's disappointment. Trump is making his mark on the world as a strong and competent leader that is not messing around. While the world is beginning to embrace the Trump presidency, Obama is clearly not. So, in order to feel important still, Obama is making a trip of his very own across the Atlantic to Germany. Obama has a meeting planned with his good buddy German Chancellor Angela Merkel. Maybe the two have a lot to catch up on, such as how to continue ruining countries with radical Islam, right? Well, that is not it, but it is pretty darn close in my opinion. The terrible duo is appearing together on Thursday at a forum called Being Involved in Democracy, Taking on Responsibility Locally and Globally. According to Chicago Sun-Times, former President Barack Obama will be in Berlin on Thursday with German Chancellor Angela Merkel and two young adults with ties to Chicago at the first international event of his Obama Foundation, as it happens, the same day President Donald Trump attends a NATO summit in Brussels. Obama's first post-presidential foundation public event was the May 3 unveiling of the model of his Obama Center campus, to be built in Jackson Park. The complex is projected to open in 2022, and Obama has been making the point that his foundation is developing programs and events and is not waiting for the buildings to be constructed to get started. Empowering young leaders in various walks of life, not just politics or government, will be a central part of the Obama Foundation mission. Merkel invited Obama to Germany's Kirchentag a festival marking the 500 years since the German Protestant Reformation before the November election, with the celebration to include other world leaders. With Trump in Brussels at his first NATO summit, and Obama in Berlin at the first international public event at his post-presidency, the split-screen potential on Thursday highlighting the contrast is almost certain. On Thursday, Obama and Merkel will focus on civic engagement with two men and two women all in their 20s outdoors at Berlin's famed Brandenburg Gate, with the foundation co-hosting the conversation titled, Being Involved in Democracy, Taking on Responsibility Locally and Globally. This event is a way to make clear to the world that the foundation plans to be very active internationally, the Obama Foundation's Bernadette Mahin told me on Sunday. And by bringing in the four young people, we really were trying to signal that the priority initially for the President and Mrs. Obama is to really try to get young people involved and give them a voice and make them feel they are going to be a focus of the work the Foundation is doing, Meehan said. A statement on the event's website by Bishop Heinrich Bedford Strong reads, President Barack Obama is attending the Kirchentag in Berlin, which will ring in the Reformation summer, underlines the international character of our 500th anniversary celebrations. The churches form a global civil society network of over 2 billion Christians. Together, as people of faith, we live from the firm hope for a better world. Anyone who is pious also has to be politically minded. I am looking forward to enthusiastic debates during the Reformation summer 2017. Well, this is an awkward moment. Does it seem odd to you that Obama would be attending an event that is geared to protecting the rights of Christians? If I remember correctly he was not too keen on protecting Christians' rights during his administration, right? It is obvious that Obama still has his panties in a wad. You know he must be fuming that the American people did not take his glowing recommendation of Hillary Clinton. Obama is so arrogant that he and Hillary thought for sure we would all vote for her just because of that. So, instead of Obama stepping aside and allowing Trump to do what he needs to Obama is acting like a petulant child. Hopefully, Obama will get tired of trying to one-up Trump and fade away into history. But, considering his nature I highly doubt that will happen. Share if you are sick and tired of Barack Obama. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.